In this video, I'm going to show how structure.gant attributes can be written to Jira fields. Many structure.gant attributes are calculated automatically based on calendar settings, resource availability, and other parameters. This includes attributes such as start date, finish date, progress, and other attributes that only exist in the Gantt chart where they are calculated. Using effectors, it is possible to synchronize these values with custom fields in Jira so they can be viewed outside of structure. Structure.gantt attributes can be shown in their corresponding structure columns. They are easy to locate in the Add column menu because they all have names starting with Gantt. Once a Gantt attribute column is added to your structure, its value can be written to a Jira field by the attribute to issue field effector. To show how this works, I'm going to synchronize start and finish dates of tasks on my chart with two custom Jira fields. Typically, when you're working with automatically scheduled tasks, the start and finish dates you see on your chart only exist with structure.gantt. These dates are calculated using the estimates, dependencies and other related data taken from Jira, but they are not visible outside of structure and structure.gantt. Writing these dates to Jira fields makes it possible for users to see how each task is scheduled by simply opening its Jira issue page. First, I'm going to add both Gantt columns to show the needed values in my structure. Then, I'll configure two separate vectors, one for each date that is going to be written to Jira. In the configuration, I'll need to select the respective Gantt column, where our new values will come from, and then select which Jira field those values should be written to. The JQL query section can be ignored, since I don't need to limit the scope of affected issues for this effector. As you finish configuring each effector, you can run it individually by clicking Save and Run, or click Save and you can run both effectors together by clicking the Run All Effectors button on the toolbar. In either case, you can select whether to review changes before they are applied to Jira, or simply have all changes applied automatically. After each effector finishes its run, the selected Jira fields will be updated with the corresponding dates from the Gantt chart. If you need to run previously configured effectors again, you can keep them in the structure. And if you delete an effector, it will not revert the changes you've already written to Jira. Thank you for watching.